welcome back to another video. I know, I've been gone for Lord knows how long and here I am coming back like everything's okay and it's not. Let me just start by saying I apologize to all of my supporters and all of my subscribers who faithfully and loyally watch my videos and I just haven't been posting. Honestly, there's no real excuse, but other than life has just been crazy and I just didn't have the energy to direct towards YouTube. I have been extremely active on my other social medias, Instagram, all that stuff, but to sit down, record, and edit, it was just so hard to do. But this video in particular is one I feel like I really, really needed to do and is extremely, extremely overdue because of the overwhelming amount of love and connections that I made on my previous video about my skin condition. I did not expect to connect with that many people and I did not expect so many people to share their stories and their remedies and kind of thank me for sharing my story. I completely did not expect that, like at all. I was just simply, you know, sharing with you guys what I was going through in hopes that it can maybe help someone or reach a couple people, but that video did numbers that I didn't think I could see as a small YouTuber. So here we are with my part two, and this is probably the final part. It's not really a series, but I wanted to do a follow-up video because a lot of people were asking me, was that remedy working for me? What am I doing now? And I kind of want to give you guys an update of where my skin is now. And also, I wanted to read a couple of the remedies and some of the advice some people left in the comments because there's some really good tips and advice that people left. So I think I wanna share that as well, but let's just get into it. Actually, <laughs> before we get into it, you guys know the drill. If you've been here before, like, comment, and if you haven't yet, subscribe. Also, turn on those post notifications. I have some amazing things coming to my channel. I'm gonna take total control of my channel and kind of just warp it and bring it to life. I'm so excited, I have so many ideas. That will be in my next video. I'll have an update video for you guys, just so you guys can see what is to come. But make sure if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe. It helps me a lot. I love my subscribers, I am so grateful. So I would love if you guys would join. So if you didn't see my last video about my skin condition, which is Tinea Versicolor, I kinda just told you guys what I was going through and how I was trying to maintain it or get rid of it and I wasn't that successful but I had started a new remedy and I never gave you guys any update of how that was working for me. So in my last video I had been using this Selsun Blue which is a dandruff shampoo um, but this is medicated and this is the maximum strength one and apparently it helps a lot with Tinea Versicolor which is what I had learned from doing research prior to my last video. But in my last video, I also shared that the way I used it was just hopping in the shower, washing, and then getting it out. And I also shared that I hated the smell. Some people may like the smell, but it just left a nasty, just a nasty little potent odor to me that I didn't like. And post my last video, tons of people suggested that I put the Selsun Blue on my body before getting in the shower, about 15 minutes or so before, sometimes 10 <laughs> if you don't wanna wait that long before getting in the shower. Let it dry up, you'll know when it dries, it gets a little bit clear or it's just not as blue as it was before and then you hop in the shower, wash it off and then continue with your regular shower regimen. So I did that and it made such a big difference. I wish I would've known that before, you know, trying the Selsun Blue and just running in the shower and doing whatever, but I'm so thankful for the people who suggested that because it made tons of a difference. It didn't take it away, it just lightened it a little bit. It just worked a little bit harder. You can tell that giving it that 15 minutes to work, it kind of really penetrates the skin and really, you know, helps with your tinea. So I was really thankful for that and I had continued doing that for a while. So I got lazy and I really just, I gave up. And I had a really, really, really bad flare up. I'll try to 
post a picture somewhere. I believe I took a picture of how my skin looked not even like two weeks ago. It was disgusting. I was in a really, really, really bad state because of my skin. I hated looking at it. Getting out the shower, I barely looked in the mirror. Like I was just honestly disgusted by my own skin. And even then, I just didn't have the mental capacity. You guys know, in this climate, in the state of the world, it's hard to focus on a lot of things. And that just wasn't, even though it was taking such a big toll on me, I wasn't going anywhere. And also, when I did go outside, I wasn't really showing that area. If you didn't watch my last video, the Tinea vs. Color was affecting this area, my chest area. It's going up my neck and my back. I'm not gonna really go into what Tinea vs. Color is. So if you're new here and you've never heard of it, please go watch my last video. I will definitely link that below. But I am not here to talk about what it is because I explained that. And you can also just do a quick Google search and there's tons and tons of articles and people telling you what it is. So to my fellow Tinea vs. Colorians, <laughs> I feel like I have found quite the remedy now. I recorded this video a few days ago when I had just got this but the audio was messed up it was really out of focus so I couldn't I just couldn't put that video out but I'm glad that, that happened because I was able to use this more and for it to have this big of an effect is like insane and I feel like I just have to share this with you guys and so I ordered off of Amazon and I will link this below if I do not link this below please 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 remind me in the comments to give you guys the link because I want you guys all to try this. This is called Clotrimazole. 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 I, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'll put it on the screen as well. But it's an antifungal cream. Tinea Versicolor is a fungal thing. <laughs> so antifungal creams and antifungal soaps and stuff are recommended. So I bought this antifungal cream off of Amazon. I didn't even know it came in a three pack, but it came in a three pack of these, and I believe it was like $12. And guys, I nearly have clear, completely clear skin. Completely. I do not remember the last time my skin was this clear there's like a few spots but it's literally so clear I don't feel like showing my back I don't feel like turning around but my back is still completely covered in the tinea because I haven't actually focused the cream on my back yet but I do plan on you know doing that of course I want to clear it up I just wanted to try this cream and instantly I saw a change like so they recommend you take a shower you clean that area and then you apply a, a thin layer on the affected area. So I did that at night. The next day waking up, I saw less tinea versus, it wasn't gone, but I saw less spots and I was like, oh, I kind of like this. So I continued to do the remedy. It's been maybe three, four days and it's almost completely gone. I am up. Like, I, I can't even, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm obsessed with how my skin looks. It's glowing. I didn't, I didn't even know my actual complexion anymore until <laughs> I started using this because I had dark spots, I had light spots, red spots. I didn't know what I looked like under all of that until I started using this product. And this is not sponsored, mind you. This is not sponsored. I just went on. I typed in Tinea Versa Color on Amazon and this is what popped up. So it had really, really good reviews. It says on the bottle it's for like athlete's foot, jock itch, and ringworm. It doesn't specify Tinea Versa Color, but this definitely popped up when I typed that in and had really good reviews. So I strongly recommend doing a little research and trying this out. Again, I am not a doctor. So I'm not telling you that this is the answer, this is going to cure you. I don't know if you have sensitive skin, if this is good for you. Although, although it's not strong on my skin at least, I don't have sensitive skin. It stinks a tad tad bit. I don't think it's supposed to have a fragrance. I think it's supposed to be fragrance free. But it has a little, little it isn't a medicated thing. So it's going to have a tight, slight, slight, slight. But that's about it. I have no complaints. It's not sticky. It's not oily. It's literally like a cream and you just rub it on it soaks into your skin and it does the job and I'm 
so grateful that I found this product and finally took a chance and decided to take care of my skin. Also, I changed up my diet. I'm not necessarily on like a strict diet. I'm doing keto-esque things. I have cut out mostly carbs, not completely, but I've cut down a lot. I'm eating way healthier, drinking more water, and, and that I feel like is contributing to my skin clearing up. So that, my friends, is my current remedy. I am also, I wanna put this in, I'm also using Dove Blanc, which is the white Dove. It's, it's dye-free, has a really, really low fragrance level. Like, it's not really potent, it's not very perfumey, and I feel like that's less harsh on my skin and on my body, and I feel like I, I like that better. I like knowing that I'm not putting that much of a harsh chemical on my skin in correspondence with the cream. So I am taking, you know, measures on maintaining and trying to get rid of this thing. I, so I know they say there's no cure, so we have to continue to do these things, which is so annoying, but this is working for me, and I hope it works for you or someone out there. Let me know in the comments below if you decide to get this cream, if it works for you, I wanna know. Or if it's just me and I just got <laughs> lucky, I don't know. Let me know, I wanna, I wanna hear your story. So now, I wanna go in and read some of the comments, some of the advice, the tips, some of the remedies that people share. Under the video, there's almost 200 comments, which is huge for me. <laughs> like I said, I'm a small YouTuber, as you can see, so stuff like that, it just gets me so excited, I'm so grateful. So I wanted to read some of the things that people share. Some of them are more holistic, less like medicated creams and pills and stuff, and more just like, dietary things and a more holistic way of treating Tanea Versicolor that has worked for other people. So I definitely wanna share those. I'm not gonna read all, of course, I'm not gonna read 200 comments, <laughs> but I do wanna read some that can possibly help you. So one comment that stood out to me was a woman who said that there is a cure <laughs> and that we just simply will have to change our diet like completely. So she says we will have to, she says we will have to leave the dairy alone, process foods, meat, alcohol, everything that could be alternating to our bodies and replace it with fruits and veggies, raw veggies, raw fruit, nuts, seeds, and cut out the bread. So if you do want bread, she says, only rye or chickpea bread. No barley, wheat, no vegetable oil, no vinegar. Basically your diet will be of alkaline foods and these foods will heal your bodies from the inside out. So if you have that discipline, which I know I don't, and I just don't have a desire of having a diet as such, go for it. Like, it, it may just be the cure. <laughs> and I know I may be selling myself short with that, but I just, I'm gonna be a little realistic here. I, I just know. Um, another person says, you know, cut out processed food, sugar, and dairy, and celery juice in the morning on an empty stomach is really helpful. Celery alkalizes the body, which is super helpful. Another girl says T plus tar gel dandruff shampoo, which I assume is probably in the same, you know, category as the salts and blue, which is also a dandruff gel or dandruff shampoo rather. She says she applied tea tree oil and she took garlic vitamin pills. I've seen everywhere that Tea tree oil has a lot of healing remedies when it comes to the skin. And I've been wanting to try the tea tree oil on my skin. I just haven't gotten around to it. But I do think that is something I really, really, really want to try in the future. Along with this current remedy that I have. Just to keep that added healthy factor. And just to keep my skin intact. I've been seeing this one quite a lot in the comments. And it's Keto Canazzo. I will <laughs> definitely... Write that on the screen somewhere so you guys can know, just in case I'm butchering it, which I probably am. But a lot of people have been using that in different forms. Some people even have been prescribed that from dermatologists. So if you have a dermatologist, I suggest maybe asking them about that or doing some research and maybe getting some yourself and trying that out if you are looking for a new remedy. One unique one I saw was someone recommended putting lemon juice on your skin. She just, you know, regularly, like lotion almost, she just puts the lemon juice on her skin and she strongly suggests not to go in the sun if the lemon juice is still on your skin. I guess it can 
burn you or whatever or cause harm so if you want to try the lemon juice remedy do not go in the sun after using it someone else says trying oil of oregano vitamin a turmeric mask which is turmeric lemon juice tea tree oil and coconut oil which i think i want to really try even if it's just not for the tinea just for my skin in general those all have healing properties and i just really 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 want to make my own mask <laughs> with those said ingredients and try it out so those are just some of the things that people shared with me under my video that stood out to me like i said there's almost 200 comments so there are tons other i highly suggest if you're looking for something something that i may have not named maybe under those comments that may work for you so definitely definitely look into that my camera's gonna die i just want you to know that you are not alone i love you guys and i thank you for coming to my video like comment subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in the next one Thank you.